Okay, this is our fourth and final video uh, for the mini lessons relating to our project. Um, in this final concept, we're finding mean and median of a set of data. Uh, mean and median are just two different measures of what we consider to be average. Um, mean, the way we find mean, is what we commonly consider the average, how to find the average of a set of numbers. But median is also considered a quote-unquote average. Meaning, if you think of um, an average day, an average sixth grader, an average football player, an average musician, an average whatever you want to think of, you know, it's what they typically tend to be like. Whether you're talking people or you're talking numbers in this case. Um, so that's what average is, and in some cases we use mean to measure that average, and in other cases we use the median. Okay, so our project application is to find the mean and median temperature from our five-day forecast, and you can go with just the high temps. Uh, so in East Overshoe, for the next five days, you'll have the following temps in degrees, and with all the cold weather, we do some very warm temperatures uh, for my made-up country. Okay, so first is the mean. To find the mean, you find the sum of all the data and you divide by the quantity of data. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is add up all our numbers and then that sum we're going to divide by, in this case we have five numbers, so we're going to take that sum and divide by five. And that will be our mean temperature, the quote unquote average temperature out of these five days. So we have 110, 102, 100, 96, and 112. Okay, we add them all up. 2 and 6 is 8, plus 2 is 10. Carry the 1. 1 and 2, 11, 13. And correction, 1, 2, 11, 12. Carry the 1. 1 and 1 is 2, 3, 4, 5. So the total is 520. This is not our mean. This is just the total of all five temperatures. Remember, we first we find the sum of all the data, and then we're going to divide by the quantity of data. We have five numbers here, so we take the 520 and divide it by 5. So our mean temperature is equal to 104 degrees. Okay, so for the next five days, the average temperature will be about 104 degrees. That is considered the mean. The other measure of average that we're going to talk about is called the median. And this is the middle data value in an ordered set of data. In an ordered set of data. That means before you can just start picking out numbers, you actually have to list the data from least to greatest. And the, what the, me, the median works is the median looks at all your data and it says, okay, half my data is less than this number and half my data is more than this number. Okay, so that's what the median is, and the median can wait, can vary. It depends um, on the data. So sometimes the median is a less desirable measure of average, and sometimes the mean is the less desirable measure of average, and sometimes they're both very good measures of average. All right, so we need our ordered set of data, which means we need to put these temperatures in order from least to greatest. So it's 96, 100. 102, 110, and 112. Okay, and then we find the middle data value. So to do that, you're actually going to start on the outside and you work your way in. And you keep doing so until there's only one data value in the middle. So our median, in this case, is 102 degrees. 
and that's how you find the median of a set of data and again it's just what the average temperature is it's around 102 degrees for the week and our mean is 104 so our median and our mean they're pretty close together so either one is a pretty good measure of what would be considered average um, if there was a wide discrepancy between the two then we'd have to look at you know one measure being better than the other but in this case they're relatively close so they're both good measures of what's considered quote unquote average now if you notice real quick this is what happens with an odd number of data you have one number in the middle now if I had six numbers let's say it was 96 100 102 108 110 and 112 so I added this 108 value and you want to find your middle your median data value well we start from the outside work our way in and we'll see that there are two numbers in the middle because there's two numbers less and two numbers more so what we would do is we would take the median of these two or the mean of those two numbers meaning we'd add them together 102 plus 108 we get 210 and then we would divide them both by 2 which is 105 and all that says is this number 105 is exactly halfway between the 102 and the 108 so this in the case of these six data values our median would be 105 even though 105 is not a data value if we look as I said before half the data is less than our median and half the data is more than our median and that is how you find mean and median and this is the fourth and final video for our travel brochure project keep in mind we'll go into greater detail in all these topics um, I think the only one that we may not touch upon before the end of the project is this idea of mean and median um, so make sure you check in with me on how you're doing with those two otherwise we should touch on everything else by the end of the project as class time as we go by through classes All right. so that is the end of the last video